What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Goat Life TV where we show you a little bit of our digital nomad lives as we travel the world. Today we are on a winery tour. It is like 10.30 in the morning and we're going to go tasting some fine reds and whites. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in Marnisi Vineyard right now in Malta and we're going to go have some tastings early in the morning in the cellar. We love it. So we gotta do what we got to do. Check it out guys. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to Malta um, and welcome to Marnisi and this is where some of our top red wines come from. It's a vineyard which is 8.5 hectares of land and we mainly make two full-bodied extremely complex um, red wines, one of them being Marnisi. Then we have also uh, the Antoni Noir, both of which um, are then matured in our cellars in, in Marsa where we'll be heading um, very soon and obviously trying the wines as well. We're just leaving the Marnisi estate now and we're heading to the cellar in the car. How long are we gonna drive? 15 minutes if. 15 minutes, everything's close in Malta. And then we'll be drinking. And then we'll be drinking. <laughs> So the Marceau Vigne Winery has this special brand, it's the 1919. And as you can see, the label is really unique. They use a local artist, paint a picture, and they take the picture and create a label for these bottles. And they do it for the 1919 red and the 1919 white. We're going down to the cellar now via this spiral staircase, which is really common all around Malta. It's really narrow, so you don't want to have too much wine when you're going down here. Definitely in a cellar. You can feel that it's a little bit chilly and the smell, oh, I just love it. Going into the wine bank. Okay. <laughs> this is where we keep um, the wines to age in bottle. Okay, well, so it's now time for, um, for the tasting and um, we have a good, uh, well, two, four, six, seven, eight wines to taste. Telling us the scents and the flavors of all the wines, so now we're gonna try it ourselves without any help and see if we can figure it out. So this one. I'm sipping mine as well. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Currants. Currants. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Figs. Figs. It's slightly dried. I taste Licorice. oh I taste a little bit of dried fruit. Oak. Yes. I don't know. Try and be more a bit more creative and okay. think about. Well, one of the creative something which everyone likes in the world in terms of food. Pizza. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pizza. Go uh, more on the sweet side. Mm. Ice cream. No. Chocolate. 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 Of course. Of course. Oh yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that we're not very good at distinguishing the flavors in the wine, but I can tell you, this one is my favorite probably. This one and the last one. Okay, so it's official with just 10 days left here in Malta, we found some wines that we actually really like. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very good here. The Marsovin Winery was excellent. Yeah. I mean, we should have come earlier, so then we knew what to look for in the supermarket here in Malta. Yeah. But now we've got our favorites, we're going to buy some wine and take them with us as we travel the world because they're very, very good. <laughs> so we went to the vineyard, we now been down the cellar, we've had eight samplings today and yeah, they're very, very good. Yeah, and we feel, <laughs> yeah. We feel very, very good because of all the samplings. Anyways, 
That's another episode of Goat Life TV. Tune in next week for another episode. See ya. See you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, you can hit the subscribe button and be the first to see our new ones. We publish a cool travel video every week, so stay tuned and follow us as we travel the world full-time as digital nomads. See you next week.